back to our ch -ch 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 channel. What's up, you guys, and welcome back to Currently Building Generational Wealth Lifestyle. I am one of your hosts, the one, the only, and the flyers on today. I am Daya Bailey, and of course, God is the ultimate host. Hey, y'all, happy Monday to ya. Happy Monday to ya. Happy Monday. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Happy Monday. And y'all already see that I am outside today. Is We're going to do a little bit different today. Today is Monday, and I know like a lot of us have the Monday blues, but... I wanted to do something different to help give you guys a pick me up and to really and truly not look at it as Monday, but it's another week so that we can accomplish our goals so that we can get the things that we need to get done and to remember that we're halfway through March and not only are we halfway through March, we are six weeks away from the first quarter. So it is a lot today. All right. So we need to, I encourage everybody to look at your goals for the first quarter that you want to hit. Look at your goals for this month as well. And let's really and truly look at them. And if we've fallen off a little bit, that's okay. Let's go ahead and plan, regroup, re-strategize, do the things that we need to do. Like we are not going into 2021, like half-stepping at all. So here's your wake-up call. Let's look at them goals. Let's reevaluate and let's get it done you are designed for greatness okay you are designed for greatness so let's tap into that greatness no more excuses man i'm tired of excuses i'm tired of excuses from myself and from y'all as well so let's go ahead and tap into it so in today's video we're going to do a little bit of planning and we're planning outside okay with the vitamin d and all that other great stuff so y'all come along with me and let's go ahead and look at our week and let's plan for the rest of the week okay We are outside and we're about to start planning our week. Some of the things that I'm actually going to use to help me plan this week, the private practice planner, of course. All right, I got a handy dandy notebook right here and I have my laptop as well, but I don't know if I will actually use it because I actually don't have any inner Wi-Fi access right now. So I just brought it just in case, nonetheless, okay? So we got that. And we're about to actually, but before I start planning, I want to invite the Holy Spirit in. I want to say a prayer so that the Holy Spirit really and truly can give me some context, some understanding, some wisdom, some guidance, because, okay, I need them, all right? So y'all already know that this channel is all about that. So nonetheless, Father God, thank you, God, for allowing us to make it once more and again. Allow me to wake up once more and again, Father God, and just come before you're thrown up on today, Father God. I invite you into this meeting up on today, Father God. I ask that you give me wisdom and understanding on um, what it is that I actually need to do for the week, Father God. You guide me, and I follow your lead. You give me the wisdom, understanding, guidance, and everything that I need for this um, for the week. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I usually use these pens right here. Like, these are my most favorite pens, and they're cheap, too, but they write good. And because of the private practice planner is actually in, in, like, a black and white form, that's why I use colored pens and stuff like that. Give it a little jazz, a little bazoo. All right, so what it is that I want to do, what do I want to get accomplished, okay? Okay, weekly goals. I think I got like a little formula that I want to use for the week and this week's topic is about family trauma and um, family trauma slash family bonds and stuff like that and I want to edge I want to use this topic because of the whole Kurt Franklin thing and I want to educate people on like family dynamics family relationship like what is your family role like that's what I, I want to provide content this week geared towards that why? Because of the whole Kurt Franklin thing right now, right? Okay, so on trend. Um, so this is kind of like the formula that I kind of want to use 
um, the first video will be like a regular little like one minute or less, 30 seconds or less, like a little encouragement video or something like that. The second one is where you will get the content about, you know, like family bonds, family traumas, like different types of like written quotes or something like this. So I'll probably use Canva to make those graphics and stuff. But it's really and truly going to be information. So the second post of the day is informational post. And like the third post of the day probably would be like a reshare or something like that along those lines. So that's kind of like how I'm actually, in my mind, how to structure out my social media for the weeks. This week's topic is family bonding and family trauma and stuff, okay? <sighs> out the week right so I wanted I only have three weekly goals but I have a ton of to-do lists like my to-do list is like long or whatever and I'm not going to actually share the to-do list with you guys because it has a lot of sensitive information confidentiality information on it but my three weekly to my three weekly goals are to build at least two thousand dollars worth of claims to make two reels for IG and to, go, and to go live at least three times a week. Right now, I currently have, I want to say, um, let's see. Right now, I have 18 clients and with nine of, and with nine of them being on Tuesday. How I end up getting that together, I have no idea. I have nine clients on Tuesday. Jesus, be a fence all around me every day. Hey, hey. Jesus, I want you to text me as I travel along the way. I know you can, yes, Lord. I know you will, yes, Lord. Fight my battles if I be still. I need the Lord. I need the Holy Spirit. I need everybody to go before me on Tuesday to see nine clients. I just don't, I can't, I can't see how I actually like got that together. But for the most part, they are actually good clients, and all of them are in a good place, tell you the truth. So it should be an interesting day on Tuesday, but I do have nine clients, and nonetheless. So nonetheless, y'all, that's all I got for y'all on today. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. I hope that y'all take away from this that sometimes go to different places to actually really and truly like plan out your day. Go outside, get some vitamin um, E. As y'all can see, the sun has already went down on me. Um and stuff like that. So, so that is all I got for you guys up on today. But make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, okay? Because we're gonna start doing things different. It is about to warm up, and so of course we're gonna start going different places and stuff like that. But before I go, y'all make sure y'all drop in the comment section below and y'all let me know what y'all thought about today's video. Please give me some um feedback if you like me being outside or if it was too windy. I feel like I pray that it's not too windy so that y'all can actually hear and understand what I'm saying or whatever. So, um, if it is too windy, I forgive me, okay? Charge it to my head and not my heart. I wanted to do something different, so I didn't know it was going to be this windy. But nonetheless, you guys, before we get up out of here, let's go ahead and call up on the Lord Cousins um, and allow him to guide our week and for us to have an amazing week okay so father god i thank you god once more and again for allowing me to come before your throne god i thank you god i thank you god for being our dad i thank you god for being our father and a caring father and a loving father god so god i lay 
I come to you guys and I lay each and every last one of my cousins, okay? Because we family, cousins, businesses at your throne, Father God. I pray that you give each and every last one of us wisdom, guidance, and understanding, Father God. And I pray that if anybody has any contracts that are on the table this week, Father God, I pray that you give them wisdom and guidance and give them a clear understanding of what they need to do. Father God, any big projects that we have and that they are calling for you, God, I pray that you give them wisdom, Father God. I pray that contracts find us, God, in the name of Jesus, God. I pray that multi-million dollar contracts come and find us, Father God. And I pray that you continue to just be with us, continue to give us wisdom and understanding, continue to just develop us as we continue to grow as business entrepreneurs and kingdom builders as well, Father God. Lord God, I pray that you just bless each and every last one of my cousins, Father God, and I lay our ignorance on the at your altar, God. Some of us don't know how to run a business, but Father God, you don't choose to qualify. You qualify as the chosen. So Father God, you have already walked before us. We just need to walk in your footsteps. So Father God, I know that those are big footsteps to feel. And so God, I actually just continue to be with us and guide us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank y'all so much. I'll see you guys again on Wednesday. And I'll talk to y'all later.